Roy D. Carava was born on December 9, 1919, in Brooklyn, New York. De Carava was raised in Harlem by a single mother who migrated from Jamaica. In a publication authored by C.W. Rogers, it was noted that, recognizing the nascent artistic talents of her son at an early age, she encouraged his interest in music and drawing. After graduating Textile High School in 1938, De Carava went on to studying painting at Cooper Union and later painting and printmaking at the Harlem Art Center. He later attended Carver Art School in New York City, where he begun, began using photographs to capture ideas for painting. This would spark his love for photography. De Carava was the first black artist ever to win the Guggenheim Fellowship, and in his 1952 proposal stated, I want to show the strength, the wisdom, and dignity of the Negro people. Not the famous and the well-known, but the unknown and the unnamed, thus revealing the roots from which springs the greatness of all human beings. And through his works, he would reflect just that, the ups, the downs, the struggles, the triumphs, and then the repeat. Olivia Wardlaw Short, in her introduction of the Museum of Fine Arts Houston publication, noted that the hallway seen here is probably the most eloquently understated symbol of black urban life that exists. De Caraba's decision to photograph this space was itself an act of recognition. An actual walk down this corridor involves the passing from darkness into light and back into darkness again. De Caraba's photos are noted as depicting the everyday life of African Americans in the Harlem Renaissance area, which, as we all know, contained a great deal of music and lots of it. academic career, De Carava would meet world-renowned poet and author Langston Hughes. In a 1955 publication called The Sweet Fly Paper of Life, the two men collaborated to compile many of De Carava's most famous works into a story narrated by a character called Sister Mary. These are just some of the images used to help tell this story. De Carava's works would later be placed on exhibition in numerous museums and documented in several more publications. Two of the most noted publications are The Sound I Saw and Roy De Carava, A Retrospective. Many tributes were given after his death in 2009, which was just week, six weeks before his 90th birthday. Roy De Carava passed away on October 27, 2009 but his works will forever live on.